Stacy, one of the major epidemics in society today is diabetes. Right. There's two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Uh, type 1 is where the pancreas has lost its ability to produce insulin. Um, that often occurs at a very early age. Yeah. Uh, and that's usually related to milk drinking hmm. and vaccinations. Really? Milk, yes, absolutely. Milk drinking at a very early age destroys and exhausts the pancreas and can lead to juvenile diabetes. Um, and vaccinations are also strongly connected with juvenile diabetes because the mercury affects the central nervous system and specifically uh, attacks and destroys the insulin cells, the beta cells of the pancreas. Mm -hmm. We know that. Um, but there's a greater epidemic uh, in type 2 diabetes. And in type 2 diabetes, the cause, plain and simple, is, is it? it's dietary. In previous discussions, I mentioned Dr. Albert Schweitzer, um, who called Dr. Gerson the most eminent genius in medical history. Eight years before Dr. Schweitzer won the Nobel Peace Prize, Dr. Gerson cured him of severely advanced type 2 diabetes in six weeks. Mm. He had wow. severely advanced diabetes at the age of 75. And Dr. Gerson cured him of that severely advanced diabetes mm. in six weeks. What's the problem in type 2 diabetes? In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas is actually producing insulin. Mm -hmm. The pancreas has not lost the ability to produce insulin. So why isn't that insulin making it into the cell, to the cell's receptor sites for insulin? Mm -hmm. Here's why. Insulin receptor sites are being blocked by cholesterol. And on the Gerson therapy, the Gerson therapy is so highly effective in removing cholesterol from the body that diabetics usually within six to eight weeks no longer have their need for um, insulin not to mention a lot of the secondary effects of their diabetes their high blood pressure their circulatory so problems much. in their yeah. legs right mm -hmm. all those things disappear mm -hmm. and it's simple it is so simple by simply removing cholesterol from the insulin receptor sites, the body's production of insulin can do the job without the use of injectable or pill forms of insulin. Okay, I want to ask you this. I know someone that the doctor said you only have three to five years to live because your diabetes is so bad. That's crazy. And let's say they're in their 60s. That's absolutely crazy. I just told you. Albert Schweitzer, at the age of 75, had severely advanced diabetes. I guarantee you that Severe. same doctor would have told that same thing to Albert Schweitzer. In six weeks, he was cured. Six weeks. Three to five years to live, that's a lifetime for us. Mm -hmm. And I'm not kidding you. That person, within six to eight weeks, would more than likely be off of all their insulin. Wow. Now... Perhaps in that person, the rebuilding process after that might take a bit longer, but within 6 to 12 months, their body is restored. So how do you think that person feels now? You know, because they've had diabetes for years and years, and they have not probably followed some of the rules that they should have. That's why they have diabetes. to have a death sentence put on you. Um, right. We classically see that. We classically see that... If a doctor tells a cancer patient, you have one year to live, or you have six months to live, mm -hmm. they will literally program that in their mind, right. and they will sometimes 20. die to mm -hmm. the day mm -hmm. of that six-month or one-year one death sentence. Right. 